right, survivors, welcome back to the long dark. We're picking up just about where we left off here. After the end of the last episode, Paulina had entered a cave to transition from Mountain Town to Mystery Lake. But guess what? It didn't work. We're still in Mountain Town. <laughs> Here's Mystery Lake to the southeast. So I, I, th I think we're pretty close. We came this way, right? We climbed a couple of cliffs. We found a cave. We stayed in there, slept with a uh, dead feller. And then uh, we climbed some more, and here we are. I'm pretty sure this is going to lead us to Mystery Lake. So let us continue on in the dark. Fortunately, we have this lamp, plenty of fuel, so Paulina can see. Now, if memory serves, this cave does lead out to Mystery Lake. I know that much. And uh, last time I played with the Wintermute story mode, we were attacked by a bear. Remember? When we came out. And that led to the whole bear story. I won't spoil it for you now. If you haven't seen my series, go check it out. That was a different character, a different time, a different place, different alternate reality um, and character. So, yeah, Paulina has no knowledge of this. <laughs> we must separate player knowledge from character knowledge like we do in Dungeons & Dragons, right? I am controlling this character, Paulina. She has no idea what's waiting outside this ca um, cave. Of course, I do because I've already played it, but again, that's how we treat our Dungeons and Dragons characters, um, separating player knowledge from character knowledge. And this is, after all, Paulina's story, not mine. She's my character. I'm controlling her. I know sometimes it seems weird when I talk about her, and she's right here. Um, but yeah, let's look at it like that. That seems to make sense to me. <laughs> Anywho, I digress. Let's check this awesome cave out. There's quite a bit here, huh? We've got some coal, some sticks, some stalagmites. And we have a fire. Any charcoal? No. We don't have to light a fire right now, so we'll leave it. No, don't touch. Hot. Pick I'll up. take it. Yes, you will. In fact, why don't you drink it right No, don't drink it. You don't need it. Grab that cedar fir wood. All right. I forget how long this cave is, though. It's pretty, pretty extensive. Um, we have plenty of fuel, though, to get through it with this lamp. We don't want to run out of, out of light. So let's keep moving. Sense of urgency in your step here, girl. Nice and warm in here. Oh, yeah, toasty. Super toasty. Only is sweating right now. You can feel the sweat dripping down her back. All right, maybe I can't. That might be getting a little bit too much into character. <laughs> Keep your eyes open for the goodies. Lots of goodies here. Oh, it's another dead feller. I hear something. I hear flowing water. I think there's a, um, there must be a, uh, a uh, waterfall out there. All right, let's check his pockets. This stuff will come in handy. Running shoes? I doubt it. What was he running from, I wonder? Um, I guess I'll take the sticks, because like I said in the last episode, we want to make a, uh, a snow shelter. May not need it here at Mystery Lake. But I wouldn't mind just making one for the heck of it. I don't know how to do that yet. I've never made one in the long dark, so we should try it out. Lots of coal here for long burning fires. Uh, ooh, let's go left because I see something here. I think this one's the dead end. Yeah, I kind of remember this. Paulina wouldn't remember. Oh, no, heavy. She'd be heavy. Sprinting is going to be a problem now. And she's going to get tired faster. Um... Well, let's keep moving. We will pare down the pack when we get outside. And I think we're getting pretty close to outside. Yes, I see. Huh? Okay, I hear some crumbling. Uh, I don't like that. Let's keep moving. This place is going to fall down on top of us. Sounds like. All right, here we go. Yeah, this is... Whoa, we're leaving. And we're out. I did not expect that. I thought I had to press a button. Oh, look! It's the house! There's a house right there! Paulina, look! A house! I didn't know anything about it, trust me. <laughs> so Paulina would have come out of that cave and been like, Woohoo! Shelter! Salvation! And maybe somebody. I don't know. Let's put this down. And get out the gun. We don't know if they're friendly or not. Trapper's Homestead. New location discovered. I don't remember it being that close to the cave, but, uh, well, it was a long time ago. 
last time I played, and that happened when we were attacked by the bear. But again, I won't spoil that story for you. Go check it out if you want to see it. My uh, my series, my Wintermute series. It's there. I've got a playlist for it somewhere. Hello? Anybody home? The lights are on. Someone's got to be home, right? Let's go see. Hello? Anybody home? Hold on. I'm going to light up. Don't shoot. We're friendly. Uh, nobody here. That's really weird. The lights are off, and there's no one home. <laughs> so they must have shut the lights off and slipped out the back, out of winder, or in a secret room or something. Are you under the bed? Hello? Nope. All right. Well, whoever it was is gone now, so the place is ours. And check it out. This place is a jackpot. We got bullets. Is another bullet down here. Oh, fantastic. Whoever it was left an Ari, huh? No rifle, but that's okay. That's okay. We have two rifles. What we really want is a rifle cleaning kit. Gotta be... Oh, herbal tea, baby! Yeah, rifle cleaning kit around here somewhere. We'll go through the drawers and everything in a moment. Oh, there it is! There it is! Yes! Nobody needs this anymore. Nobody's gonna need it. It's all yours, girl! No sewing kit. Yeah, this is a jackpot. Oh, yeah. We got some music to celebrate. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave everything right where it is. Although, I will go through all the drawers cabinets, etc. Um, but I hate using up my fuel right now. What time is it? Sun's coming up. Maybe what we could, should do is... How about if we sleep for a couple of hours? Paulina could use a quick cat nap. And the sun will be up. And then we can see. Let's do that. Oh! Where's that bed? There we go. Two hours of sleep. You ready? Good night! Yeah, quick cat nap, and now we can see my sunlight, and we can save on fuel. Okay, let's start over here by the door, and as we usually do, we shall go... Oh, whoa, what's the matter, girl? You hungry? We'll go left around the world. How about some... Let's have an energy bar. 500 calories, so we don't have to listen to her belly grumble. Um, we don't really need anything to drink right now. All right, let's do it. Search the first aid kit. Disinfectant and Band-Aid. We're coming Whew, in. This pack is getting kind of heavy. It sure is, but that's okay. We're going to drop stuff in a moment. Okay, we don't really need matches, but I'll grab them. Oh! Uh, I was going to leave everything on the shelves where we can see it, but you know what? No, let's not do that. Not that, anyway. Because I'm probably going to carry that stuff. Search the backpack. Baseball cap. This stuff will come in handy. Probably not, unless we want to tear it down in the cloth. Um, in fact, why don't we do this, Paulina? Drop your wood right here. And charcoal. Look at all the charcoal we have. We have so much of it. All right, let's move over a little bit to the left here. And then drop all of your coal right by the fire. Wow. They were smaller in the cave. Uh, and how about we drop some of the charcoal? We'll, we'll carry a few. Let's drop six-ish. And we're going to go right out and sketch here. Because right now we have nothing. We're actually in the new, new region. Mystery Lake. That's where we want it to be. What is this then? A note left behind. Ooh, let's read it. You won't remember me. The world doesn't stop when the lights fade. This is how it begins. Stay calm, observe, survive. Your father saw this day. Don't believe what you hear. What he did was far was for a far off dawn. Maybe you can recall the fire. Your father understood that we dance for our children's children's children. My dear, one day you will feel the voices rise in your heart. Enter a cave and stand until stars appear. Climb the highest peak. Sing when the brutality hits. I'm here with you. The winter winds can only get so cold. Contributed by a backer. Oh. Okay, that's a Kickstarter backer. They actually left a note here. Great. Well, they didn't, personally. But I'm going to leave it. I'll leave it right there. They contributed um, because they backed with a lot of money. And they had that opportunity to contribute to the game. Pretty cool. All right. Nothing in there. Unfortunately, we'll check this drawer. Hmm. This will come in handy. Yes, indeed it shall. Sewing kit here, cloth up there. Um, I'll leave the sewing kit for now. As long as it's visible. I do I do want to take everything out of the containers and make everything visible. I really need the food right now. Accelerant's fine right there. Safe, we're going to have to open that up in a moment. Oh, a wilderness kitchen book. We actually have that already, and Pauline has studied it for a couple of hours, and maybe we can finish that up here. And uh, she can learn how to cook better. Not that you're a bad cook, Paulina, but uh, 
This is wilderness cooking, so you have an excuse. All right. Let us drop some thangs, like the shoes over here by the door. We don't need those. The shoes that we found in the cave from that guy running away from something. All right. Let's do the safe. Let's do the safe. Oh, wrong way. 25, 12, 44. Open it up and search it. We can use this. Money. What are we gonna do with money? <laughs> I guess we can burn it. Oh, flare shell and a rifle cartridge. That's gonna be good, of course. The flare shell, not so much, unless we find a flare gun, which we have not found yet. So we shall drop that along with a bunch of other stuff. Well, it's not very heavy. Well, you know what? It all adds up, doesn't it? So, extra flare here. Yeah, let me um, let me pare down the pack here, guys. That's what we wanted. So nice to finally have a rifle and cleaning kit. Thank goodness. Um, and then we shall go outside and do some sketching and have a look about. All right. So, yeah, give me a moment to get organized, and I'll be right back. Stay tuned. All right, guys. I think it's time to head out. And do some sketching. So let's grab this charcoal right here. That piece right there is a good one. Put it away. And how about you grab that snare? We can use this. Yes, we're gonna use it. That's what I just said. Are you paying attention, Paulina? <laughs> uh, let's clean up our gun. Yeah, it's at 62% right now. I mean, the whole point of coming out here originally was to find a rifle cleaning kit, and there it is. It's 100% brand spanking new, and it's 12 minutes to clean with a chance of success. Uh, 100% and maybe one small percent chance of shooting yourself unless you unload it, but we're not going to do that because it takes too long to reload. And it looks like we got a 3% improvement for a cleaning operation. But it's only 12 minutes, so let's, uh, let's do a few. And Paulina's skill is actually increasing. Nice. There we go. Up to 32. Let's do another one. Yeah, don't try this at home, kids. You should always unload your firearm before you clean it. But again, this is a video game and no one's gonna get BANG! Just kidding, just kidding. There we go, up to 4%, look at that. Sweet, bring that thing up here, let's check it out. Oh, you did a great job, great job. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Yeah, plenty of food, plenty of water. We're just gonna do some sketching and some, uh, some snatching. I already got the snare, right? Yeah, let's do it. I snatched the snare is what I did. And look at this day. Is it not gorgeous here in Canada? Temps are actually pretty cold, though, believe it or not. All right. Well, let's sketch right here. This seems like a nice, safe place. Nothing going to sneak up out of the woods and bite us. Oh, there's a backpack right there. And a furry limb. Oh, I want a furry limb. Actually, I take that back. I do not want a furry limb. I have got plenty of furry limbs. I've got arms and legs, and they're furry enough. So how about if we, uh, should we go get that backpack right now? Seems like it's really, really close. It's like right here. I guess so. And then I want to go try to snare a bunny rabbit. So yeah, here's the thought. I'm thinking about maybe staying here for a few days. There's plenty of supplies here. We got a lot of um, surveying and exploring to do. And Pauline is going to learn the local area. And then go off and, uh, well, I don't know. We'll go off and do some stuff here. Maybe do some hunting. Is this the backpack? Yeah, there it is right there green thing in the grass unzip it and check oh it's empty oh that Brr. that's annoying um all right so let's go over here to the barn and check that out and we'll sketch over there too so yeah originally when i started this series i was thinking maybe of rushing right to the hush river valley that's a new region but we're clearly not quite ready for that it's going to be very challenging there's no man-made shelters there so I think we're going to have to have the best gear possible. So my thought, and let me know if you agree with this, <laughs> is to stay here at the Trapper's Cabin, which I absolutely love, one of my favorite places, and uh, just get better gear. Like, make um, make uh, bunny, bunny rabbit gloves and deerskin boots, and maybe we can even kill a moose or a bear, and make jackets and pants and all that, because that stuff is the best in the game stuff that you actually craft yourself but it's going to take a really long time well there we go hunting grounds yeah i see some bunny rabbits but it's going to take a long time to collect all that material uh like days because it's going to take days just to um just to cure it let's survey right here it seems safe temps are looking okay 
Oh, there's a corpse down there. There's a frozen man right on the edge of the map. That is like right over in that direction. I think it's like right over the ridge here. Oh, yeah, look at the crows. You see them? Telltale sign of a frozen man. But let's go set up a snare over here first and then we'll check on the frozen guy. Uh. Oh, what's the matter, Paulina? No, 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 no. It's not, you're not tired. We got the whole day ahead of us, kiddo. Stay awake. We're gonna go snatch up a bunny wabbit. We should probably shoot the deer, too. Like I said, if we're gonna be sticking around here, I wanna make the uh, best gear in the game and then go to Hush River. Oh, dang it. There he goes. Well, let's snatch up a bunny. They're dumb. Yeah, a little bunny, 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 bunny. Can I put this right in front of him? That'd be hilarious. Yeah, we'll put it, like, right here. Right here. And that should snatch up a bunny. And then we can make our wabbit skin mittens. That would be awesome. I think you have to actually leave the area and come back. And there might be one caught in the snare automatically. Alright, let's go check on this corpse. I think it's right here, if I recall correctly. Yeah, of course, Paulina wouldn't know. That's why she's doing the sketching. So we're going to try to sketch as much as possible here. Do some exploring. Yeah, there he is. There he is. Frozen in the ground. Max's last stand. Well, what you got on you, Max? Nothing. Oh, you. What a loser. Nothing on him. Well, that's no fun. All right, let's climb up over here a little bit, and then we'll sketch again. And see what's over here. I mean, I kind of have an idea... But again, player knowledge versus character knowledge. I want Paulina to discover this stuff on her own. I can't do all you're thinking, girl. Oh. Oh, is that another corpse? Oh, is that a corpse here? <laughs> what happened here? I don't know. Something bad. Something real bad. I see some feathers down here, too. Oh, I didn't see any feathers at the other body. Did you guys? I might have missed it. We'll go back and check. They usually are feathers, and we can use those to make arrows. Love to make bow and arrow. Take it. Oh, it's a wolf toque. You can't pass up a toque. And a Stacy's soda. Let's drink it right now. And how is this not frozen? <laughs> they would have frozen and then exploded in this guy's pocket. You ever put a soda in a freezer? Try it. Just don't tell your parents I told you to do it. That's all. All right, let's, um, we can throw rocks at bunnies and try to get one that way. Let me grab some of this bark. It's a pretty good fire starter. Birch bark right here. Yeah, good stuff. And how about if we go up this ridge and then, um, then we'll sketch. I don't want to get too far away from Trapper's Cabin in this episode. I know there's a lot of daylight left, but Pauline is getting tired already. We still don't have any coffee to wake up. I'm going to grab some of these sticks, too, so we can work on our uh, winter shelter. I haven't made one of those yet. And I think they require something like 15 sticks. All right, how about if we sketch right here? Oh, can't sketch with a rock. Ready? Sketch it. Sketch it. Sketch like the wind. Max's last stand. There's Max down there. And a furry limb. Okay, let's go toward the furry limb. And if we get a shot at the deer, Pauline's going to take it. Got plenty of ammo now. We have a nice clean rifle. We got the cleaning kit. I think we can spare at least one round. Maybe maybe two if we don't kill it with the first shot. But that'll give us some fur and some guts and some meat too, right? can stock up on that stuff before we uh, head to Hush River Valley. So far, so good with the predators. I haven't seen any yet. No wolves, no bears, no crazy mooses. So that's nice. I think maybe I'll sketch up here. Let's get to the very top of this ridge and make sure there isn't anything hostile around first. <laughs> Might be something on the other side. All right, this looks safe. Sure, let's do a sketch here. Oh, here we go. More furry limbs. And they're really close, I think. I think you can make, like, arrows with the fur limbs. I'm not really positive about that. 
but we have to bring them back home and cure them indoors. And that takes a long time, multiple days. What is that down there? I don't know. How you doing, girl? Paulina seems like she's doing okay. I think we can go down there and check that out. Is that the limb? Oh, it's a dead deer. Oh, okay. Well, that's good and bad. It's bad because something must have killed it. <laughs> oh, feathers. Good for arrows. Um, but it's good because we might be able to get stuff out of it. Hold on. No, no, no. Oh, that's not a feather. That's his foot. Oh, weather's kicking up. Wind's kicking up. Come on, Canada. Make up your mind. Hot, cold, windy. Oh, jeez. What is that? All right. Uh, let's see. Let's use a hunting knife here and try to get that hide. 30 minutes, 40 minutes with the guts. I think we should do it. Let's get the hide first, 30 minutes. I think we can handle it. You can do it, Paulina, come on. Yeah, she was warm enough. All right, we got the hide. And how about the guts? 20 minutes. We're gonna need it. Awesome, I'm gonna leave the meat. We don't need the meat right now. All right, fantastic. So we don't even need to shoot a deer right now. All right, I think we should head back. Walking into the wind slows you down, which is a really cool effect. Going uphill doesn't help either, does it, Paulina? I'm so sorry, but I know you can do it. Strong young lady. Get up that hill. And she's smelly now, too, because she's got the guts. She got the guts, all right. Keep your eyes open for furry limbs. I'd love to find one. Not sure what it looks like. Should we go check the snare? I doubt it. Damn. Ow. Oh. oh, what? Hurt. Sprained ankle and a sprained wrist. How? There's nothing even there. And I can't hold the rifle up now. Oh, no. Girl. All right. We got to fix that. She can't hold the rifle up with a sprained wrist. How do we fix this? Okay, we gotta take two of these painkillers. Use it on the wrist. All right, there you go. Okay, two more for the sprained ankle. Ah, uh, all better. All right, now be careful, slow it down. It's too busy looking for a furry limb. All right, let's get back. Let's get back to the cabin now. <laughs> the weather's getting bad. It's treacherous out here. Napoleon is getting tired. And stuff's getting super heavy. Whoa, 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 whoa! Slow it down. Slow it down. Almost there. Let me check the snare in the morning. What is that sound? Oh, Napoleon's belly. Almost there, you can do it. All right, put that rifle away. No, put the, put the stone down. <laughs> in we go. Uh, okay, well, that was, uh, that was interesting. So, fortunately, we had the medication on us. All right, I think what I'm gonna do is just get reorganized and then we'll reconvene in the next episode. So with that, my friends, we're going to call it quits. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.